<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Leah. I'm just here to teach a yoga class with my beautiful models today. Um, just know you can be any kind of level. It's not going to be hard or easy, but you can always modify or advance any of the postures. So let's get started. Um, we'll start today in child pose. So you can rest with your big toes together and allow your knees to come out nice and wide. And you'll start to fold everything forward. Not really changing anything about your day-to-day -day breath yet. Just kind of noticing how you feel. So notice in your body what feels a little bit tighter this morning. Also notice some positives, so what feels open and ready. So when you're ready, we'll just start to take a deep breath in through the nose. See how high you can feel all the way up to the top. And then let out a big open mouth. You'll take two more just like that. Inhale a little bit more than you think. Feel the side body start to expand and rise. Maybe hover at the top, hold it in. And then big open mouth, let all of that air go. You can start to engage your navel to the spine, really hug all the air out. One more time just like that. Inhale all the way up, maybe a little bit more than you think. And then sigh it all out through the mouth. Let everything go and melt into your mat. Good. Now just start to seal the lips. You'll start breathing in and out through your nose only. Starting to cultivate that ujjayi breath. That little constriction in the back of the throat. Helps to give some length to every inhale. A little bit of depth to every exhale. Once you found that perfect rhythm with the breath, you'll just start to shift forward. Start to look forward. Keep the legs how they are. Just start to bend into the knees. Toes lift up. It's gonna be like a little trotter on the push up at the top. Good. Inhale, press it back up. Exhale, sink the hips back down. A few more times like that. Looking forward the whole time. The hips can drop. Little push up. Inhale to press it back and then find that child pose. Thanks. Nice. One more time. Inhale, shift it forward. Elbows hug in. Exhale to release it all the way down. Find that child's pose. Good. Reach it right back up. Find the tabletop, hands and knees. So your knees are going to stack right underneath the hips. Hug your knees a little bit closer. On your inhale, kick your right heel up towards the sky. So keep your knees bent. Good. Like you just did before, so that heel's going to be pressing up. So you're going to trot around it through the elbows and tuck your chin down to the mat. Inhale's going to press you back up. Exhale, tuck round and curl knee to the nose. Twice more like that. Inhale, heel to the sky. Exhale, bend into the elbows, tap the chin. Inhale to press up. Exhale, tuck around and curl. Nice, one more time, keep it flowing. This time as you tap knee to nose, hold there. Keep your left toes tucked and press into a tiger pose. Left knee lifts up off the mat. So your knees tap into the nose, tiger pose. Inhale, you're gonna kick it straight up. Three leg down dog. Then bend into the knee and stack your hip open. Take a little bit of movement here. So bend into that knee. Take some big hip circles up in the sky. Take equal pressure through both palms, so you want to tap that right shoulder down. Good. Inhale next time. Kick the heel straight up. Exhale is going to shift you forward. Knee to the nose. Tap it high. One more time. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, nice and slow. Shift forward. Knee to nose. Hover there and then step the foot through from there. Release your left knee down to the mat. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Arms sweep up to the sky. And just take a second to hang out here. So you want to lengthen your tailbone down. Low belly is going to hug all the way in and up. Good, and then capture a hold of your left wrist. Take a little pull up and side bend over to the right. So you want to engage through your glute muscles. Then tailbone's lengthening down so you feel all that length in that left hip bone. Good, next inhale you take, reach it right up to the sky, maybe gaze up. Exhale, palms release down to bring your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, float the knee up, and step yourself up, top of the mat. Feet can be hip distance apart. Good, inhale, have a soft bend into the knees, fingertips to shins, lengthen up the spine halfway. Hang out here. So think higher up through the shoulders. Shoulders are gonna roll down the spine. Good, one more breath in where you are. Exhale, nice and slow, so melt it forward, forward fold. Just take twice more like that. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, breath in. Exhale, fold, crown of the head all the way down. Nice, one more time. Inhale, halfway lift, hug the low belly in. Exhale, release and melt. Good, bend into both knees really deep. Let the arms tangle heavy. And then 
one vertebrae at a time, start to roll yourself all the way up. Then chin stays tucked to your chest, nice and slow, belly hugs in. Nice, once you get to the top, inhale, send those shoulders up high, big exhale, release, slow them down and back. One more time, just like that. Big inhale, shoulders lift. Big open mouth, exhale, roll down. Good, inhale, both arms reach up to the sky, start to gaze up. Exhale, release, palms all the way down the side. Good, inhale one more time. Inhale to reach it up. This time, interlace your tongue fingertips. Point the palms up to the sky. See if you can hug the shoulder blades down the spine. Feel them lengthening down. On your exhale, bend into that left elbow. Keep the palms how they are. You're just gonna bend into that right elbow so it's like a little side body stretch. You can even tilt the torso over to the right, get a little bit more length. Good, inhale presses you back to center. Palms can reach. Exhale, bend into that right elbow and pull it center. And pressing your head back into that elbow, open up through the heart. Inhale, you're gonna press it right back to the sky, maybe even look up. Exhale, lead with the heart and forward fold, maybe a little bend into the knee. Inhale, fingertips to shin, lengthen out. Then release the palms down, step yourself back, top of a push-up plank. So you're gonna hold here for a few breaths. You really wanna think of your body like one plank pose. So from the crown, out through the hips, out through the heels, your body's in one straight line. A little puff up of the back of the heart space so you're really engaged through the upper body. Now go ahead and look forward, shift forward, and as slow as you can, elbows hug in as you bring it all the way down. Nice, untuck the toes at the bottom. Tent your fingertips wide to the edges of the mat. On the inhale, peel the heart open, find your Bhujangasana. Exhale, release, and tap it forward. A few more times with your breath. All 10 toenails rooted as you breathe in. Exhale, release, through thy center. Nice, one more time, maybe a little higher, breathe in. Exhale, release, and tap. This time we'll go side to side. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, dip that right shoulder to the mat and look over to the left. Good, back up through center, breath in. Exhale, dip left, look right. Good, last time through center, a little bit higher. Exhale, release, and tap it down. Palms are gonna slide underneath the shoulders. Keep your knees on the mat, and then press up to like an extended hands and knees tabletop. So knees stay on the ground. You're just gonna <clears throat> take a few hip circles in both directions. I'm not really caring what this pose looks like, just more how it feels in the body. It's nice to close the eyes. In yoga, we have what's called pratyahara, or withdrawing of the senses. The more you can stop thinking about the outside world, your yoga practice becomes more sensational, more meaningful. When you're ready, you'll start to bring it back into the center, tabletop, and hug those knees together. Inhale, kick your left heel to the sky. Keep that knee bent. Exhale, look forward. Chaturanga in the elbows, tap the chin. Inhale to press right back up. Exhale like a tiger pose, round and tap. A few more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip and tap. Inhale, press it right back up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, belly strong. This time as you have knee to nose, hang out. Tuck your right toes, float the knee, left knee to nose. Inhale, three leg down dog, kick that left heel. Bend into the knee and stack it open. Again, lots of big movements here in the hips. You wanna warm up through that hip socket. Spread your fingertips wide and press into the finger print. Good, one more time. Inhale, three leg down dog, extend through the heel. Exhale, shift it forward, tap your nose. One more time, inhale, kick it high. Exhale, nice and slow, round and tap knee to nose. From there, use your low belly to step the foot through. Right knee releases softly. Inhale, arms up to the sky, low crescent lunge. Good, now you'll capture a hold of that right wrist. Pull up, find that side bend over to the left. Imagine sending your breath to the front of that right hip. It's called your right hip flexor. Engage through both glute muscles. Nice inhale, we'll bring you back up to the sky, reach up. Exhale, palms release down around your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, float the knee, and then step yourself up, top of the mat, feet hip distance. Inhale, soft bend into the knee, halfway lift. Exhale, release and forward fold. This time, bend into your right knee deeply. Plant your right palm or the fingertips to the center. Reach your left arm up to the sky. So now think about stacking that left shoulder on top of the right. Optional half bind if you want to take it a little further. Good, exhale, release, bring it down and just push it out. Left knee's gonna bend, left palm or fingertips release down, right arm can reach up high. And staying there, rolling that shoulder open, maybe exploring that deeper variation. 
Wherever you are, think, inhale, length through the spine. Exhale, release and twist a little bit more. Good, on your exhale, just bring it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, fingertips to shin, lengthen out. Exhale, melt it right back down, Uttanasana. Good, root down into the feet to rub. Circle the arms up to the sky, find your Tadasana. Exhale, unite hands together through heart center. Good, inhale, we'll reach you right back up. Maybe you look up. Exhale, lead with the heart and forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift, breath in. Palms release down. One more time, step yourself back, top of a push-up plank. Now bring your big toes together to touch, back of the mat. Right arm's gonna reach up to the sky as you spin to the pinky toe side of left foot. Find that Vashi Stasana. So it's early, if you need to drop that bottom knee down, go ahead and do so. Wherever you are, think hips are lifting up to the sky. One more breath in, maybe right arm sweeps forward towards the front of the room. Exhale, palm will release down, just switch it out. Spin to the pinky toe side of right foot, left arm's gonna sweep up high. Engage through your side body, so think hips are lifting up. One more breath in, find that fullest expression for you. Exhale, left palm down, melt it all the way down to your belly, find the breath. Untuck the toes at the bottom. This time you're gonna backstroke both arms behind you. Have the palms facing down to start. Good, on the inhale, just start to peel everything up. Chest will lift, the toes will start to lift up off the ground too. Good, you can hover the palms for added sensation. Gaze it straight down so there's no wrinkles in the neck. Good, another breath in, lift it up a little higher. Exhale, release and tap everything down. Palms will slide back next to your low rib cage. Tuck your toes under and float the knees up. On your inhale, press the top of a push-up. Exhale, hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. So you can have five deep breaths to yourself here. Just kind of move around. You can bend one knee and then the other. It's called wagging your tail. Wherever you are, think palms are shoulder distance, maybe a little wider. Fingertips are spread as wide as they can go. Goal here is to have a little bend into the knees because you want to find all that length with the spine. We'll do a traditional sun A together. Big toes come a little closer. Knees bend deeply, look forward. Walk or float, top of your mat. <clears throat> Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Exhale, release crown of the head forward. Root down to rise, salute the sun as you reach up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, unite hands together, heart center. Inhale's gonna reach you right back up, length through the side bodies. Exhale, release forward fold, lead with the heart. Halfway lift, breath in. Your choice here, palms release down, you can step or float your way back. If you're ready for chaturanga, lower down halfway. Inhale can take you to your upward facing dog, tops of the feet root. Exhale, bring it back, downward facing dog and lift the hips. Good, bring your big toes together. Right heel is gonna reach up high, bend into the knees, stack your hips open. Exhale is gonna shift you forward, right knee to right tricep. Good, inhale right back to the sky, breath in. Soft as you can, step that foot all the way through. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart before you rise up, high crescent lunge. So press into that right heel to lift. You can put a tiny bend into that back knee so you lengthen that tailbone down. Big low belly, super active, hug it in. Inhale, soften the shoulders, but reach up a little higher. On the exhale, we're gonna catch this twist to the right. You can hover that left knee down or maybe it taps. Just do twice more with breath. High lunge, exhale the twist, open up to the right. Nice, one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus and twist. Last time through the center, reach it high. Exhale, bow your torso forward halfway, swing the arms behind. The light is in on your belly, extend out through those fingertips, and shoulder blades are squeezing on the back. Good, take another breath in where you are. Good, on your next inhale, just reach it right back to the sky. Find that high lunge, belly strong. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Back heel spins down, you're gonna bend deep into that front knee. Good, so you wanna notice your front knee stacking right over the ankle, and it's tracking out towards that second big toe. You're gonna lunge in deep to that lunge, Imagine squeezing a pencil blade or a pencil with your shoulder blade so they're super active. Gaze can be at that front middle finger. Don't forget to breathe. So just hang out for another breath. On your inhale, bring it to reverse warrior. So stretch forward an inch and then reach that right arm up towards the sky. You want to keep all that length in that side body. Keep that front knee bending really deeply and then breathe into all those inner costumes on that right side. Another breath in, reach back a little further. Exhale, cartwheel the palms down to frame that front foot. Back heel spins up, left palm stays rooted, reach your right arm to the sky, find the twist. 
good, so left fingertips are spread really wide. Notice the hips here, so usually left knee drops, or left hip drops a little bit. Reach it up in line with the right. Good, another breath in where you are. Transition to Vashi Sasana side plank. Go into the pinky toe side of left foot. Right foot can step back to land on top. Again, any kind of variation you want to try here. Hips are lifting up, belly strong. One more breath in to explore further. Exhale, right palm down, maybe Ekapada Chaturanga. You can keep that right leg lifted as you lower. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Find that back bend. Exhale, lift the hips, find your downward facing dog. So just a deep breath in to reset here. Big open mouth, exhale, let it go. We'll take that on the left side. Get big toes together, left leg's gonna reach up high. Bend into the knee and open up. Exhale, shift it forward, left knee, left side side. Good, right back to the sky, breath in, reach through the heel. Exhale, nice and slow, step it all the way through. On and asana, high lunge on that second side. Good, so find that focal point in front of you. Focus your gaze. You can take a few breaths here to really reset to the posture. And then once you bend into that right knee, when you find that stability, you can straighten out through the leg. Another breath in where you are. On your exhale, take that cactus twist to the left. Maybe you back drop that back knee. Good, twice more. Inhale, three center, reach up. Exhale, cactus twist, open up to the left. Good, last time, three center, breath in. Exhale, cactus Center, breathe in. Exhale, find that diagonal with the torso and reach those fingertips back. Go to one straight line from the crown of the head out to that back heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades and open up through the collarbone. Then just hanging out for another exhale. On your inhale, press it up high, crescent lunge. Arms keep up high. Exhale, back heel spins down flat. Find your Virabhadrasana too. And taking a breath or two to really settle in. It's your first time here. Can bend and straighten into that front knee. Once you've found that perfect position, gaze is at that front middle finger. Good, hang out where you are for just another breath. Inhale, reach those front fingertips a little bit more forward and then reverse your warrior. Good, so finding length in both side bodies. Those back toes are angled in a little bit, feet are super active, your glutes are hugging in nice and tight. Another breath in to reach back one more inch. On your exhale, cartwheel both palms down to frame that left foot. Right heel spins up and reach your left arm to the sky. Find that twisted lunge. Yep, so you're gonna stay here. Notice the hips. Make sure they're even. You can even bring your left palm to both just to make sure that if you had a glass of water, it would be stationary there. Let's see if you can roll that left shoulder open. Just another breath. And then side plank of your choice when you're ready. Left foot steps back to land on top. Again, rainbow shape on that bottom side of the body so your obliques are super engaged here. Another breath in to explore a little further, whatever you want. Exhale, just release the left palm down and bring it all the way down to your belly, super slow. Untuck the toes at the bottom, back to both arms behind you and find a soft interlace. On the inhale, start to peel everything up off the mat. Again, no wrinkles in the neck. Everything on the back side of your body is engaged. Belly strong back of the neck is strong. Good. Another breath in, lift it up a little higher. Exhale, just release, let it go. Head can come to either side. Unhook the fingertips and just allow yourself to melt into the mat. Notice your breath. Notice how your body's feeling after just a little bit of movement. If you have a lot of built up heat, you can always take those open mouth exhales to release. I can come to the opposite cheek. Just take another breath or two. <clears throat> Good. Once you're ready to move again, palms release down the sides, toes tuck under. Inhale, top of a push up. Exhale, hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. So we'll start to take that breath to movement. Big toes come together, right heel lifts, bend into the knee. Exhale, shift it forward, right knee, right tricep. Good, right back to the sky, breath in. Soft as you can, step it all the way through. High crescent lunge, inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, cactus twist, bring it to the right. Good, right back through center, breath in. Exhale, bow, belly to thigh, find that diagonal. Good, inhale, press it all the way up. High lunge and open up to that warrior two, like same breath. On your exhale, just bend deeper into that front knee. 
Inhale, find your reverse. Reach those right fingertips all the way back. On your exhale, big exhale, cartwheel it all the way down. Left palm roots, right arm reaches to the sky. Good, this time just place right palm to the outside of right foot. Step right foot back to land um, next to the left. So you find a plank pose at the back of the mat. Oh my God, you guys are started. <laughs> Good, from there, just bring that right palm down, cycle through your vinyasa. <laughs> Yoga should be fun, especially when you teach your friends. <laughs> Back to down dog, we'll take it to that next side. Left heel to the sky, bend into the knee. Exhale, shift it forward, top as high as you can to the armpit. Good, three leg down dog, inhale. Exhale, softly step it all the way through. High lunge, press into that heel, fingertips sweep. Exhale, just once, cactus, twist left. Good, right back through center. Exhale, bow belly to thigh, find that diagonal. Good, right back to the sky, high lunge, fingertips sweep. Exhale, open it up, find that warrior two. Reverse on your inhale, reach those left fingertips to the back of the wall. Exhale to cartwheel everything down. Back heel spins up, left arm reaches to the sky. Good, this time listen, left palm to the outside of left foot. Left foot steps back to land next to the right. Cycle through, high to low. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing. Exhale, press it back, downward facing, lift those hips. Deep breath in together. Let out a big open mouth. Good. Big toes can come together. This time bend into your knees. Look forward. Walk or maybe float your way to the top. Always lift up halfway on your inhale. Think a little up dog in the chest. Exhale, melt it all the way down. Find that fold. In your inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Find your Tadasana. On your exhale, unite hands together, heart center. Take a second, close your eyes here. So imagine lengthening your tailbone down to the ground. You want that little tuck of the tailbone, but not too much. Low belly's hugging in and up, and chest is lifting so that heart's nice and open. Just take another breath in where you are. Let out a big open mouth. Good. Now start to open up through the eyes. Find a focal point in front of you. We're going to reach those arms right back up to the sky. Exhale one more time. Unite hands together. Heart center. This time interlace the ten fingertips. Point the palms down, out, and up. So find that focal point and have your gaze focused. Start to lift up to your tippy tippy toes. Good. Heels are lifted this whole time. Now like you're going to sit back into a chair behind you. Start to bend into both knees. You want the heels lifting, knees hug all the way in together. Yep, shaking feels really good here. Now bring it down a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Whew. Now use those legs, rise right back up. Everything straightens out. Exhale, heels release down, unite hands together through heart center. Now bend deep into the knees, heels stay rooted this time. See if you can reach down and touch the ground underneath you. So shift more weight down into the heels, butt is sinking. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, find your chair pose. So chair pose um, translates to fierce pose. So you should feel really fierce here. It's not an easy pose, so stick with it. It's like opposition. Hips are sinking back a little more, but fingertips are reaching up a little higher. Good, on your exhale, bow belly to thigh. Swing the arms behind you and just reach back. Yep, twice more like that. Inhale, find that Utkatasana, sink it low, reach high. Exhale, bow belly to thighs. This time, interlace. See if you can do that heel lift. Look forward, heels lift up nice and high. We'll take that once more, heels release. Inhale, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, one last time, bow it forward, interlace, heels lift. Good, so option one, just hang here. You wanna release, heels can release down, you can find a forward fold. If you're feeling adventurous today, arm balance. You can release your palms down. You can snuggle your knees up into the armpits. Look forward. So you can start to place the weight into the palms. Maybe the heels start to lift up. Look forward. Belly strong. Now once you're ready, vinyasa of your choice, step or float. You can always skip those vinyasas too. Don't think you have to take each one. Good, right back up to the sky. Hips stay where they are. Good, now wiggle the feet out wide to the edges of your mat. Um, palms are gonna crawl back closer to the feet. You're gonna find a little twist. Right palm across the body, outside of that left leg. 
Have a little bend into that right elbow so you can spread the heart through a little bit more. Hips are lifting up nice and high. And start to release, bring it back through center, take it to that next side. Think those fingertips on that right hand are spread super wide. Give yourself a good base. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Back through center you'll go. Find your way back to your regular down dog. You can bring your big toes back together so they touch. Right heel's going to lift up high. Bend into the knee. Open up. Exhale. Shift it forward. Right knee. Right tricep. Little different. Reach it up to the sky. Exhale. Right knee across the body. Tap that left elbow and kick it straight. See if you can reach those toes in line with those fingertips and left arm's going to reach up high. Good, so you should be on the pinky toe side of that right foot. That back feels rooted down. See if you can reach that right hip up a little higher to the sky. Maybe big arm circles with that top arm. Good, left palm down to the ground. Tap knee to nose, find that tiger pose. Inhale, three leg down dog, right heel lifts. Exhale, nice and slow, step it all the way through. Little different this time, high lunge, press in. Press into that heel and reach up. Good, we're gonna grab a hold of that left wrist. Take a little pull up and start to side bend over to the right. A tiny bend into that back knee. Feel that length through that whole left side. Now keep the shape, just start to twist the upper body over to the right. Right shoulders rolling back. Once you can't anymore, extend the arms like a big T. You can hang out here or to deep and you can grab a hold of opposite side. Wherever you are, from lifting up high on the breath in. Exhale's gonna twist you a little bit further. Good, right palm stays where it is. Reach your left arm to the sky, find exalted warrior. So keep your shoulders squaring off. So pull that left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Good, another breath in. Maybe you look up all the way up to the sky. Big exhale, shift it forward. Left elbow to the outside of right thigh. Bring hands together in a prayer position, twisting to the right. So this is really hard. You might get a little wobbly. If you want to take the balance out of it, go ahead and drop that left knee down. Wherever you are, find a focal point. Fix your gaze there. It's called your drishti. Put another breath in. Maybe you extend the arms. One arm up, one arm down, depending on how you're feeling today. So now we'll all come back. Hands to that prayer position. Lift the back heel if it's, or back knee if it's down on the mat. Now use your low belly, start to rise back up, high lunge, press both arms up to the sky, exhale, open up, warrior two, spin that back heel all the way down. Good, a little different this time, right arm's going to wrap underneath the left, you'll find eagle arms. If that's too much, just go ahead and give yourself a big tuck. On the inhale, press that front leg straight, reach your fingertips up, look up, exhale, bend into that right knee and round it all the way forward. Twice more, nice and slow. Inhale, front leg straightens, fingertips reach. Exhale, bend deep, round it all the way forward. Nice, one more time. Inhale's gonna lift you up. Exhale, tug, round and curl, breathe into the shoulder blade. Good, inhale, press that front leg straight. Unravel through the arms and find a way to reverse the knot. It's like reverse warrior two, but both of your legs are straight. This time, all five of those right toes stay straight forward. Good, another breath in where you are. Find and exhale the cartwheel, the palms all the way down, back heel spins up. This time launch off those left toes, find a standing split. You can keep a bend into that right knee. Goal here is just have that left foot down in line with the right, so left inner thigh to the side. But take another breath in, see if you can reach those toes up just a little higher. Exhale, just bring big toes together to touch the top of your mat. Inhale, sink low, reach high, find your chair. Good, exhale, bow, belly to thighs, swing those arms behind. Once more, sparrow pose, you can lift those heels up. You want to try Bakasana, you can plant the palms, go there. Wherever you are, you're breathing in really deep. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, melt it all the way forward, forward, full. Heel toe the feet out, hip distance apart. Right knee's going to bend deep, right palm releases down, left arm sweeps to the sky. Other way, yeah. You can stay here, maybe find that half spine. You can reach that left arm back behind you. Wherever you are, you're breathing in me. You'll start to unravel. 
level, bring it all the way down to the center. Find that forward fold. Now bring your peace sign fingers to your big toes. So you're gonna lift up halfway with the inhale. Exhale, start to melt the crown down, pull on those toes. Shake out your head, yes. Shake it out, no. Now start to open up the eyes and gaze straight underneath your face. Weight shifts to that left foot. Both legs stay straight and you're gonna start to lift that right foot over to the right. So it might just hover an inch. You might get it all the way up in line with the hips. Wherever you are, just say belly hugging in. Uh-huh, once you're over that side, take it to the next. Weight shifts all the way into that right foot. Left leg's gonna lift a little or a lot. Yep, you can start to release, bring it all the way down forward, fold, unhook the toes. Heel toe feet together so they touch. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, palms release. Vinyasa of your choice, step or float. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up through your chest. Exhale, lift those hips up high, downward facing dog. Big toes back together, left heel's gonna lift up high, bend into the knee, open up. Exhale, shift it forward, top as high as you can to the armpit. Good, back to the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee across the body, tap that right elbow and kick the legs straight. Fallen warrior, right arm reaches up to the sky. Good, see if you can lift that left hip up a little higher. Maybe do big arm circles with that right arm. Nice, on your exhale, right palm releases down to the mat, tap left knee to nose, tiger pose. Inhale, three leg down dog, stretch. Exhale, nice and slow, step that foot all the way through. High crescent lunge, press into that left foot to rise up. This time, grab a hold of that right wrist, start to pull up and side bend over to the left. Make sure your hips stay even here, so make sure that you're squeezing through those glute muscles. Good, now you'll keep that, just start to rotate through that upper spine, start to twist to the left, and then arms will start to stretch out long. Good, you can hang out here, or maybe you grab for opposite side. And every time you inhale, you're going to grow up a little bit taller. Exhale from the mid-spine, start to twist first. Good, back hand stays where it is. Right arm reaches to the sky, find exalted. Now move that right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, square off to the front. One more breath in, option to look up to the sky, find a little bit more length. On the exhale, reach those right fingertips all the way forward. You're going to wrap that elbow to the outside of left knee. Hands can come together at a prayer. So maybe staying here, maybe dropping that back knee down. You want a little bit more stability. Wherever you are, you're finding that twist from that center of your spine. You can have another breath. Maybe you find the arms, one arm up, one arm down. Right hand to a block is really nice here as well. Good, we'll all start to bring it back. Hands together, heart center, lift that back knee. On the inhale, press into that left heel, reach your arms to the sky, find high crescent lunge. Yep, exhale, open it up, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Good, she can bend in deep to that front knee and we'll find those eagle arms, second side. Left arm's gonna wrap underneath the right or maybe grab for the shoulders. On the inhale, press that left leg straight, reach up high. Exhale nice and slow, bend back into that knee and round to the inside. Twice more with breath. Inhale straight and out, maybe look up. Exhale nice and slow, round, tuck it all the way in. Nice, one more time. Inhale, start to press into that left foot. Unravel through the arms and bring it into reverse trikonasana. So both legs go straight. Front right toes are facing all the way forward. Nice, another breath in, find a little bit more length in that side. On your exhale, cartwheel all the way back down. Both palms release. Spring off your right toes, find standing splits, top of the mat. Good, again, tap that right hip down so it's in line with the left. Then pinky toes angling down to the ground. You can always have a soft bending to that left knee. Maybe hands to block. Good, nice, another breath in, lift it up one more inch. Exhale, big toes can rest together, top of the mat. Inhale, fingertips to shins, lengthen out. Exhale, melt it all the way back down, forward fold. Good, root down to rise. Again, we'll reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, unite hands together, heart center, and close the eyes. And maybe you notice that pulse underneath the thumbs. So practicing yoga helps to make you release anything that's going on in your life. 
So what doesn't serve you, you can always let go in your practice. I like to think of every open mouth exhale as just this big release. Good, once you're ready, eyes will back, back open. Inhale, reach it up to the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, nice and slow, melt it all the way forward, lead with the heart. Halfway lift, inhale, palms release down, just step yourself back, top of a push up. From there, we're just gonna release both knees down to the mat, find your way into tabletop. Good, on your inhale, reach your right arm open towards the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, thread that arm underneath you all the way over to the left. You lay that right shoulder down to the mat. Left palm can crawl forward towards the top corner of the room. Option to stay there, maybe take a half bind if you want to get a little bit deeper. Wherever you are, you're just breathing in nice and deep. Slowly start to unravel. Left palm's gonna release down first. Right arm's gonna open up towards the sky, make a fist, and do a few wrist circles both directions. Good, right palm will release back down to the mat. Tuck your toes and lift your hips. Find your downward facing. Adding on big toes will come together. Reach that right heel up to the sky. Bend into the knee, open up. Exhale, shift it all the way forward. Right knee taps to the armpit and hold. See if you can reach that knee up higher to the armpit. If hurdlers is in your practice, you can look forward, shift forward. Maybe you just do a little chaturanga push-up. Good, explore there, or maybe the left toes lift. Yep, inhale, we'll just press it right back to the sky. Find your three leg down dog, no rush. Exhale, nice and slow, step it through. Good, this time you're gonna step the left foot in halfway. So we're gonna find your way to pyramid pose. So it's this intense hamstring stretch. Good, so your feet can be like three feet apart. Right toes face straight forward, left toes are kind of angled out. Now everyone bring your left or your right thumb to your right hip crease. Start to pull that hip back so it's even with the left. You can have fingertips to blocks if the ground feels a little bit too far away. Good, now tiny bend into both of the knees. Inhale, think like a halfway lift with the spine. Exhale's gonna melt the crown of the head down a little bit further. Good, this is nice. If you have those blocks, it feels really good to extend them and walk them all the way out. So wherever you are, you're just finding length with the spine, sending some breath into the back of the legs. Take another breath where you are. And now release the blocks if you have them and tighten your fingertips to frame that right foot. We're gonna bring hands to hips. If you feel really steady with the belly, reach the arms all the way forward. Now belly tugging into spine with a flat back, come all the way up to standing. Good, from there, shift the weight into that right foot, hug your knees together and bend into that left knee. Left, back, left arm backstroke behind you, capture a hold of the inside arch of left foot. Now think reaching up through that right arm as you kick, kick, kick into that left kick foot. So hips stay square, so press that left hip down. Imagine zipping your knees together so they touch. You fall out, that's okay, you're on grass. <laughs> You'll take another breath in wherever you are. Exhale, just bring big toes together to touch top of your space. Good, inhale, we'll find you to a reaching the arms to the sky. Exhale, nice and slow, fold it all the way forward, find your mat. Halfway lift on the inhale. Again, palms release down, step yourself back to a push-up. Knees soften down to the mat so you find your way to tabletop. Left arm to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, thread it underneath, you find that tuck. Good, again, right fingertips can tent. You can crawl them forward. Optional half five if you want to shake it down that way. Right side. Then hips are lifting up to the sky. Breath is nice and even. And you're ready to release this shape. Right palm releases down under the shoulder. Left arm opens up to the sky. Make that fist and do a few wrist circles both directions. Good, left palm will release down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. 
Big toes to the center, left heel to the sky, bend into the knee. Exhale, shift that knee all the way forward, tap as close as you can to the armpit. Now option one, just hang out here, hug that knee closer to your armpit. Option two, you can bend into the elbows like chaturanga. Option three, maybe right toes start to float up off the mat. Yep, once you're ready, you can release three leg down dog, left heel high. Exhale, just step that foot all the way through. Shorten the stance, kind of hop those right toes in so you find your pyramid pose. Again, setting up how you need, maybe hands to blocks or fingertips to the mat. Left thumb will come to your left hip crease, pull it back so the hips are even. Good, once you find that, find a little halfway lift with the spine, you wanna find that length. Exhale, you'll just melt it all the way forward. Then start to just breathe into the pose. Well, it might be a little bit tight, that's fine. Always send your breath wherever it feels the tightest. Most important part of yoga is just always having that breath connection, having it as deep as you can. Once this shape no longer serves you, go ahead and release those blocks. Crawl the fingertips to frame that left foot and then maybe hands to the hips. Maybe you reach the arms all the way straight forward. Belly to spine with that flat back come all the way up to standing. Nice. You'll shift the weight into that left foot and spring up. You're gonna hug both knees together, bend into your right knee. Right palm backstrokes behind you. Grab a hold of inside arch of that foot. Look forward and start to kick, kick, kick into your hand. You want to glue your knees together into the center. Reach up through those left fingertips. Yep, you can dance for as long as you want. When you're ready to release, it'll just be Tadasana top of the mat. Hands can come to heart center. Again, closing the eyes, letting go of any of that sense of sight. Taking a few breaths to yourself and just enjoying how you feel. Honoring your body today, what it's done for you already. When you're ready, you can vinyasa. You can always skip your vinyasas too. I think you've already met your quota for the day. <laughs> We'll start to just slow everything down. Big toes come together, right heel's going to reach up high, stack it open. Exhale, just shift that shin all the way forward, set up for your half pigeon. So right knee to the outside of right wrist, you'll flex through those right toes. I think most important part here is just make sure that you have even weight through both hips. You can tighten your fingertips, grow the spine up nice and long, feel some length. Now this is great if you want to stay here or you can start to melt your torso forward. So once you find that variation and that's where you're going, see if you can commit. So getting all the wiggles out before you start to fold forward. Keep your right toes flexed. Breath is nice and steady. you can release any tension. So where are you holding it? Sometimes it's in the jaw. Sometimes it's in the fists. Once you're ready to release, we'll crawl the fingertips back. Lift yourself up into a seat. Now weight's going to shift over to that right hip. Swivel your left leg out in front and plant the sole of right foot to inner left thigh. Yep, so it's kind of extended out like a diagonal. On the inhale, reach both arms up to the sky, find some length, tilt yourself to the left, and then fold over that straightened leg. Now a little bend into that left knee is nice. You want to rotate that right shoulder down towards the mat. 
Again, deepest breath you can take here. I always like to think a little halfway lift on each inhale. Exhale can melt you down a little further. the left arm back. On the exhale, release the hips back down and maybe you tap the left toes. Just twice more with breath. Inhale to reach you up, find a back bend. Exhale nice and slow, release it back down. Nice, one more time. Big inhale, lift. Big exhale, tuck, ground and curl, bring it all the way down. And now just lift it up to seated. Plant both soles of the feet down to the mat like you're going into bridge pose. Arms reach out in front of you, tuck chin to chest, and really slow, roll yourself down. Belly's hugging into spine this whole time. If you want added sensation, go ahead and lift the heels up. Arms can be up. Now you can lay almost all the way of the back down to the mat. Think chest is lifted, belly's strong. Facial muscles are soft. Just another breath where you are. Exhale, bring it all the way down, back to the mat. Hug your knees into the chest, one hand to each kneecap. Do a few circles up in the sky. Give that lowest part of the spine a little massage. Always go in both directions. So finding that yin to your yang. Yep, now plant soles of the feet down to the mat. Knees face up to the sky. Palms will stay down the sides first. Now I'll teach the beginning version of bridge pose. So start to bend into the elbows, fingertips face up and palms face each other. I call them robot arms. Hug the elbows as close as you can to like your rib cage. Yep, now press down into your elbows, press the hips up to the sky. So you'll keep that action in the upper arms. See if you can hug the shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Option to stay here with the arms or maybe you start to interlace at the low spine. Press the palms down into the earth and snuggle the shoulder blades a little bit closer together. The hips are lifting up nice and high and breath is steady. See if you can relax the glute muscles just a little. Then press into the heels, maybe the hips lift up like one more inch. Now if you have those fingertips together, start to unlace. Now one backbone at a time, starting from the neck down to the hips. Feel each vertebrae as you lay it down. Yep, once you get to the bottom, knees hug back into the chest. And then do just another circle in both directions. And when you have it in you, you'll grab a hold of the backs of the thighs and start to rock and roll the full length of the spine. From tailbone, all the way up to the shoulders. Now we'll gain enough momentum to cycle through one last vinyasa here. You wanna gain some momentum, cross at the ankles, plant the palms, you can step or float your way back. Inhale, maybe hang out in that upward facing and then downward facing on the out breath. Big toes can wiggle together, again, left heel up to the sky, stack it open. Exhale, shift you all the way forward, half pigeon second side. Again, finding a few breaths to find that perfect pose for you. Left toes flexed, right leg straight off from the hip. If it feels nice for your body, you can fold it forward. So letting go of the idea that you have to be the same on both sides. Just know that your body's not symmetrical left to right. You can always modify or change the posture depending.
When you're ready, then crawl those fingertips back. This time shifting weight to left hip. Right leg's gonna swing out in front, sole of that left foot to inner right thigh. So it's kind of out to a diagonal. Now on your inhale, you'll reach up to the sky. Find all that lace. Tilt the torso to the right and fold over that straightened right leg. Then right knee can be bent as much as you need. Left shoulders angling down to the mat. Every inhale, you can find a halfway lift with the spine so you get some more length. Every exhale, you can melt into that space you created. the foot if you have it. Tuck your chin to chest and slowly round your way all the way up to seated. Left palm will release down to the left. Press into the left palm and that left um, thigh to lift. Good. Exhale the hips right back down. Find that fold over the right leg. Good. Twice more with the own breath. Inhale to lift. Find your back bend. Exhale nice and slow. Bring it all the way down. Fold over that right leg. Just one last time. And you'll lift it up to just a seated position. Plant both soles of the feet back down to the mat like you're going into bridge pose. Arms extend out in front of you, tuck chin to chest as slow as you can, roll yourself down. Again, Navasana or Ardha Navasana if you want some added sensation in the belly. If you go there, think facial muscles soft so you're not working too hard. Once you get to the bottom, you can just release it all the way down. Find your way to your back. You'll slide soles of the feet onto the ground, so knees face up. Your choice what you want to do here for your back bend. You can take bridge pose, you can take restorative bridge with the block under the sacrum, or full wheel. So your choice where you want to go will be here for like next five to eight breaths. You're going into full wheel, kind of pigeon toe the big toes in. Yep, you find more length in that upper spine, in the back. Deepest breaths you can take in your back bend. If you need to release, you'll take it nice and slow. Back of the neck, all the way down to the hips. This time broken bridge. Feet go wide, knees can buckle into the center. Have one palm resting on the belly, one palm on the heart. Eyes are nice and closed. Breath is starting to slow down. And eyes will start to back, back open. And then just hug the knees into your center line. Arms can come out to a big T and just knock the knees all the way to the left. Just an easy spinal twist. Gaze can go to the right if you want to deepen. Left palm can always capture a hold of that outside edge of that right thigh if you want to go a little further. Letting the spine just kind of decompress here. Allowing yourself to slow the breath more to a natural rhythm. Now without using momentum, use your low belly, hug those knees back through center, and then just take it to the opposite side. Then we'll bring it back through the center with the knees. Happy baby, if you'd like that to be your last posture. I always like to do yogi's choice as well. So if there's anything else that you're feeling, go ahead and take that shape. If you're going into your happy baby, just make sure that that lowest part of the spine is nice and rooted. That means grabbing a hold of the shins. That's fine. Now we'll end today's class hugging the knees all the way into the chest. Wrap your forearms around
around the shins. Hug your knees up to your eye sockets. Now take a moment here and flex all the muscles in the body, in the face, in the fingertips, in the toes, just everywhere. Hug it all in. Take the deepest breath in of class yet. Let out a big open mouth. <sighs> Sigh it out to Shavasana. Give yourself a moment to find that perfect spot. Legs and arms can come out nice and wide. Imagine squeezing your shoulder blades a little bit closer together on the spine so you feel that opening in the heart. Maybe wiggle the jaw from left to right. Release any of that tension you have left in the face. Slowly begin to reawaken, allowing that prana, that life force, radiate out from your spine. With every breath in, you just move it around the body, all the way down to your fingertips, to your toes. You can take a little bit of movement back in. We'll softly roll the head from left to right.
We'll slide the soles of the feet onto the mat and hug your knees into the chest, rolling over to your favorite side in fetal position. Giving yourself just a moment here. Just come back. And press yourself up to a comfortable seat facing this way when you're ready. Eyes can remain softly closed. Just feeling the spine grow up nice and long. Crown of the head high and shoulders are soft. Taking a moment to just be the observer. Imagine your physical body. How's it feeling now? I always like to notice just the openness that yoga can bring to you. You have this openness in the mind. There's not so much going on. You have this openness in the physical body. It's feeling a little bit more ready for your day. Also this openness in the heart and your mind. So notice when you go into the rest of the day, how experiences, how conversations with people can be a little different. You're not so judgmental. You're more open and receiving to what they're saying. You'll start to unite hands together at the heart center, thumbs touching the sternum. I always like to take a collective inhale together. You can seal in all the energy of today's class. Let out a big open mouth. You'll bow your chin into the chest, giving thanks for this lifelong practice. From my heart to all of yours, namaste. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.